Hey guys, welcome to the Three Amigos YouTube channel. Uh, if you're new here, we, uh, we're filming everything, all things bikes. Uh, I got a lot of new content coming, so if you'd subscribe below, we appreciate it. Uh, the followers we picked up thus far, thanks for your support. Uh, rainy day here in Connecticut, so not much riding this weekend. But I just got my Lipera tail whip seat in the mail. So I thought I'd do a little unboxing. Well, it's already unboxed and review video for you. Uh, and go over the seat here. I picked the tail whip. Um, I originally had looked at the kickflip seat, which you have looked, the kickflip kind of has the same lines, but it rolls off right here where the stitching is here. The, uh, the tail whip has this little bit here, and at first I thought that was kind of funky, but it's different and I like it. It's different than everybody and their saddle and step-up seats on all the, the baggers and the dinos and everything. Um, so far I got it out of the bag. Uh, you know, kind of a funny sticker came with here. And the only thing you really got to put together is the mounting tab. It comes with some screws there. You got to screw to the bottom of the seat, obviously. But looking at this thing, first impressions, it looks like it has beautiful quality. I really like the, di the double diamond stitching. Uh, this is an off-the-shelf seat. I didn't do any custom colors, but if you go to Lee Para's website, you can do custom fabrics, custom threads, different stitching, uh, you name it. But... This, I think this is marine grade vinyl. It's not a real leather, but it seems very durable. Um, I mean, the stitching is immaculate, as you can see up close. Really nicely done. Uh, I like the density of the Lipera. Uh, if you saw our other video, Graham did one. Uh, he also picked up the Lipera. I had this one on order. It did back order, so it took about a month to get it. But so far, I think it was worth the wait. Mm. You can also see here, I kind of like the, the different just horizontal stitching on the sides so that the, the diamond's not overdone. Uh, if I flip it over here, Lee Pair is known for their metal pants opposed to plastic. So really well-made seat, all the bumpers here uh, to protect the bike, of course. So again, I can't say enough about the quality. Um, no correlation to them, obviously, just this was the seat I picked. The other thing I really liked about the tail whip opposed to the kickflip is the dimensions. Uh, this driver's seat pan is actually two inches wider than a kickflip at 14 and a half across here, whereas the other one's only 12 and a half, but I still think it'll look nice on the bike. And the same thing is I feel like not going to be a long distance seat for the wife, but I think I can at least get her on here for a dinner ride. So she's not trying to sit on that rolled off part. Uh, I have a seat like that. On my highball actually not to sidetrack too much but you can see that roll off that the kick flips have and the, a lot of the saddles and stuff and that's kind of useless for the passenger uh, not very comfortable so i think i at least get her comfortable for a short ride so i'm gonna get this thing mounted up on the bike and we'll see how it looks and uh we'll see how the seating position is and uh pick it up from there guys i got it on the bike and it goes on just like any and every harley seat uh, right with the little screw at the back i got my nice little thrash and supply screw um on the metal tab when you screw it on the bottom of the seat there was a little bit of room now uh, the holes were slotted for adjustment i put them right in the center and it lined right up uh fit on the bike is great i had a uh, lucky days or a saddle before this that one fit real tight i literally had to bump it with my fist forward to get it on this one kind of slipped right on it sits nice um Again, I like the double diamond stitching. You can't go wrong with black on a black bike. I think if I went custom, I would have lost my mind trying to figure out what color to do. Um, I do like the extra width, because like I said, this is 14 and a half wide across the driver pan instead of 12 and a half, and still barely wider than covering the side covers here. So that extra width looks good and has a function. You know, the whip, the tail whip part, it is a little funky, but I'm liking it, I'm digging it. It's different. Uh, I haven't seen one of these in person, so I'm really digging it. Um, other than that, I hopped on, threw a leg over. I'd say it's pretty damn close to stock um, seating position. I have both the old man touring seat, which I still think is going to be my long distance seat with the wife. Um, this crosses off for short distance for her. I'm sure I could ride on it long distance, no problem. But I'd say the seating position is kind of right in between of 
the ultra seat kind of really pushes you up on the tank and then i have the oem seat over there on the wall that's off of just like a regular standard or standard or special road glide street glide that one pulls you back i'd say this one's right in the middle uh, you know the nice back support with the step up seat i'm a fan of that style um you know besides that i got a few spots to touch up with the ultra seat rub the paint a little bit a little bit of buffing to do there but nice fit to the tank uh that's extra mosquito somehow in there already uh but really liking it i'm gonna put some miles on it. i'll probably do a thousand miles that's whatever he says is for a break-in on uh, a good seat and uh i'll do a little review after that thanks for watching please like and subscribe